If you're thinking about moving to Crofton, then check out the 10 things that you need to know before moving here. Now, listen, after having an office for several years and living in Crofton, I'm gonna share with you the, some of the top things that I really love about living in this city. It is a fantastic place to call home. Now, if you want some more personal help to find a great home, let me know, shoot us a DM, and my agents and I will be happy to help you. That being said, let's dive in. So first up, Crofton is an amazing community location, right? It, part of it is because just the way it's centrally located with easy access to several of the top roadways here. You have 3, 32, 97, 450, and Route 50 all basically going right through or right around Crofton. So whether you need to commute to DC, go to Baltimore, or head to Annapolis, you have some great choices. I will say with traffic, being in a major metropolitan area kind of suburb here, you're gonna get a lot of traffic, for example, on 3 and 97 in rush hour. Nothing I can do about that, but it is something to know, though, you know, with all this great access to the roadways, rush hour is still gonna suck a little bit. Speaking of commuting, we've had a ton of clients over the years who work over at Fort Meade at NSA, you know, because it's just a short little uh, trip right up 97, but you still get all the amenities and the sort of the cool feel of Crofton. So again, it is a fantastic place for commuting. Number two, Crofton is rich in history, which is to be expected knowing that Maryland is one of the original 13 colonies and Annapolis is just down the road from Crofton. So it makes total sense that we have plenty of history here. Now, the Crofton that we know and love today really kind of came into existence in the 1960s. You know, Levitt built the whole Crofton Triangle, that whole like subdivision type feel there. And that's, I think, kind of what started a lot of what, again, what we know and love today, right? That being said, it was actually in the 1660s where European settlers had a lot of tobacco farms. But as Annapolis and Baltimore and DC connected through roadways and highways, you know, you still had all this farmland and little sort of neighborhoods and places sort of pop up. And so for many years, again, Crofton was more of these tobacco farms. And that was still evident as the subdivision started getting built up in the last, what, 50 years or so, right? Uh, we started to see the way they built the subdivisions, they left little pieces of farmland or some greenery, some trees, and you can really feel it still today. There's not that many farms left, you know, I mean, definitely not on the tobacco side, but maybe you know, even on the horse farm side of things, most of them have been all sort of uh, bought up and converted to homes, but they still have traces that, you know, are kind of neat when you drive by, you're like, oh yeah, that, that, that was a horse farm. That's pretty cool. So again, totally rich in history and just has a really pretty vibe to the whole place. Number three, Crofton is a planned community. Now, this is a big deal because it really affects the accessibility of everything. You know, it's one of those things that I really, really love about Crofton, and it's one of the things I loved about living there myself. So, you know, some cities, you go in and you're like, okay, hey, a whole bunch of houses, great. Or, hey, maybe there's a whole bunch of pretty farmland, but there's nothing else nearby. Right? I mean, what if you need to pick up some food to make dinner that day? Or, you know, you want to go out to eat and you have to travel 20, 30 minutes to get anywhere. Well, the thing is, Crofton, again, was planned that you didn't have to leave the community. Just the way you'll see, like, the roads, the way they circle, the way they kind of grid out to each other, where there's going to be a grocery store or a restaurant or several restaurants, uh, a gas station, you know, a liquor store, a hardware store, all those things are right there. Like you don't have to leave the area. You have everything you need basically just right in that community. And it's one of the things that I absolutely love about Crofton. And I'm a big fan of these kind of planned communities. Again, it just makes the community feel you go there, you can maybe see some people, you know, there's you, you get used to like the small mom and pop restaurants and stuff that are there. And it's just really convenient. So to me, that's one of the things that I absolutely love about this community. I can't say that for some of the communities that are right nearby, right? There are several cities that are still lovely places to, to live in, but things aren't close. And number four, schools. Crofton has been really sought after for their public school system. You know, if you look at sites like greatschools.net and check out their reviews, a lot of people really love the schools here. 
For the past few years though, one of the biggest buzz things has been the Crofton High School. It was recently built, you know, it has top-notch technology, has a nice big auditorium, has some really nice athletic fields. And it's one of those things where this was like all the buzz because this is brand new facility and really just sort of, you know, trying to elevate the whole school system here. So again, schools is one of the best things that, you know, is kind of pulling and people talk about when they're thinking about Crofton. Number five, Crofton has been the most convenient shopping around. You know, again, going back to that whole planned community feel, the way it sets up, it really has come into its own in like the last 20 years. So you have both the, you know, the older Walsh, Village of Wall Chapel plus Wall Chapel Town Center just down the road, which happens to have a movie theater, a Wegmans, several amazing restaurants. Um, happens to have Thai uh, Wall Chapel, which is my favorite Thai restaurant around. It has a Target. It has the Old Navy, has plenty of stuff right there, right? Super convenient. Then you have other things like Staples Corner, which has a great little Mexican restaurant, uh, Dunkin' Donuts. You have a Crofton Ace Hardware, right? So you need some tools or something for a project. You don't have to go all the way to Home Depot or Lowe's. You have an Ace right there. So again, there's so many things up and down three, inside the triangle. It's, it's pretty fantastic. So again, I absolutely love the convenient shopping there. All right, number six, dining. Crofton has some amazing restaurants. So piggybacking on the whole convenient shopping, right next to all of like the stores and everything else that you can go to are lots of restaurants. So we have everything from your local stuff to like a little bit more mid-level to your fast food and your bigger chains, right? So if you like the local kind of feel, well, you gotta check out places uh, like Nautilus Diner, you know, it's a it's a pretty actually big size diner. They have some really good delicious waffle fries. You have places like uh, Fat Boys. Uh, they have like their little bar crab house type of thing. Then they also have their bigger place. Uh, you know, if you want to get takeout crabs or just go eat there. There's Mikasito, which is a nice little Mexican restaurant uh, on Staples Corner. There's, like I said, Thai at Wall Chapel, which is my favorite Thai place. You got Fuji if you want some hibachi. You have your, you know, your bigger your chains like Five Guys, Red Robin. If you prefer something faster on the go, you have several different pizza options. You have Firehouse Subs. You have Chipotle, one of my favorites. Chick-fil-A, Arby's, McDonald's, you name it. I mean, there's an IHOP, there's a faux place. There's, you know, a ton of stuff all in and around, up and down Route 3, inside the Crofton Triangle. You name it, it's there, man. So I'm here in Annapolis and I still go to Crofton plenty of times to go grab a bite to eat. Number seven, Crofton is a really pretty place to live. You know, going back to that rich history, the way that it was built on several farms, the way that then it was a planned community in the 60s, there's lots of cool little walking paths and it's just really pretty. So for example, where I used to live just off of uh, Topango in a community called Habitat, there's like a pond in the middle with like a little play set and a path that goes all the way around. Then that path kind of jets over to the Crofton Library. And again, like we could walk our dogs around there. I had like a little RC boat that I used to take over there. Like it was just like a really cool place to live. Then you have a dog park that's a little bit down the street from there. Uh, we took our Shiba Inu uh, when, when we first had her over there to kind of train her, let her go run a little bit. There's also uh, Crofton Park, you know, there's baseball fields, a pavilion, you know, again, just, you know, swing set, all the stuff, right? I mean, again, it's just a really pretty place that has several different little play sets, playgrounds, dog park, bigger park, lots of walking paths, little pond thing. It's again, it's just really, really pretty. So big thumbs up. I love the whole nature park scene there. And number eight, housing. Crofton has a nice variety of types of housing that you can choose from, right? So inside the Crofton Triangle where Levitt built all the stuff originally, he had all his like, the, you know, the two different types of split foyers and split levels and colonials and ranchers, which again, kind of have that 60s and 70s type of vibe, right? And they're solid homes, don't get me wrong, but you'll see those with all the mature trees inside the Crofton Triangle. Now on just, it's sort of still in the triangle, but just around it, you'll see a whole slew of townhouses like Crofton Mews, for example, where some of them will have just like the steps going up. Maybe they have a basement that's a, like a separate unit underneath. Some of them have the, all three levels, it just kind of depends. So you have like a nice section of uh, townhouses around. There's another thing just over like, for example, in Habitat off of like um, Aberdeen and uh, like Topango, whatnot, where, those places, they're, they're like these kind of contemporary, um, they're, they're townhouses, but they're kind of funky townhouses. They're, they're like quads, basically. So those are pretty cool, and they, they all surround some walking paths and a little pond, which is super neat, which is what I was just talking about. 
Then you have 90s and like early 2000s sort of style uh, colonials. And then you get into your more expensive stuff there, like Willow Grove, right? I mean, so again, we have the, like the couple hundred thousand dollar condo all the way up to like the million dollar like fancy colonial. So there's lots of choices in terms of the different styles and different budgets. So pretty cool. I dig it. And number nine, Crofton has plenty of things to do that you can go and enjoy without even having to leave the area. So if you like golf, you got the Walden Country Club. You also have the Crofton Country Club. Like swimming, have your kids go join the Crofton swim team, right? We have escape rooms. We have a, the Crofton bowling alley. There's um, an old school skating rink. There's all kinds of things that you can do just and enjoy right there. I mean, there's ax throwing. Again, there's a dog park that you can go to. There's the movie theater. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff that you can do right here in Crofton. And if that's not enough, then you have Annapolis, Baltimore, DC that you can all easily get access to. So again, just a ton of things that you can do right inside of Crofton. Again, I really enjoyed living there and I hope you will too. And number 10, Crofton events. Now the big two that are like the most popular and I, I wanna mention, the first one is the Spring Festival on the green at the Crofton Country Club. Now they have entertainment, there's activities, there's like artisan food that they have there. It's super cool, you gotta go. Now the second one, which is one of my personal favorites, which is the Crofton Farmer's Market. You know, it's not huge, but what I'd say is they bring some really cool vendors in, uh, like the pickle guy. I always love all the pickles that they have, kind of random, but it's delicious. There's been uh, some specialty pizza that comes that has everything from regular pizza to like vegan pizza that you can get. There's, you know, someone who's had like some really pretty flower bouquets. There's just kind of like different niche little things. Again, a good farmer's market is, I think, always fun to go to. So I dig that Crofton has theirs. As you can see, I absolutely loved living in Crofton and I loved having our office there for four years. It's just a great place with so many amenities. Now, if you are thinking about moving to the area, shoot us a DM, let us know. We'd be happy to help. Meanwhile, I can't wait to see you in the next video.